Welcome back to the channel, my friends. Last month, 1.4 million cPanel installations were reported vulnerable to a reflected cross-site scripting attack. Man, I really need to start putting these videos out sooner. But anyways, grab your bug bounty backpacks because it's not too late. We're gonna go bug hunting for CVE 2023 29489, which is an improper neutralization of input during web page generation, aka cross site scripting. So, like any good hunter, you have to be specific in what you bring with you. You can't go bear hunting with a fishing rod, and you can't go fishing with a missile launcher. So in this hunt, all we need to bring with us is a pen and paper because I created a GUI that you guys can interact with while on your hunt. And all you need to do to enjoy this buck hunt for the reflected cross-site scripting in the cPanel is your Shodan API key, the organization you want to search for, and the protocol in the input field. You then can start the scanning process by clicking on the scanning button the progress bar will start and the results of the scan will be in the output area. Red means it's not vulnerable. And if you have a green output, that means it's vulnerable. This makes it much easier to understand and visualize. So in your hunting backpack, we need three Python packages and a peanut butter and jelly sandwich so you don't get hungry. So if you're in your terminal or command prompt, the commands to install these packages so the GUI will run on your machine are the following. Shodan, requests, and beautiful soup. Now the Kinter and threading modules are usually pre-installed with Python, so you shouldn't need to install those. And after the dependencies are installed, you guys can then run the Python script from the command line by navigating to the directory where the script is located and running the following command. Or, since I was late in making this video, I guess you can just update your nuclei templates because the CVE was just recently added there. But always, thanks for watching guys. If you haven't subscribed and turn on notifications, you're missing out on some epic content. As always though, there's more content and tutorials over on Patreon. Everyone over there helps keep the lights on and this channel going. So I appreciate you guys very much. Check out the comment section for more information and I'll see you guys out there on the hunt.